um, yeah, usually or well, I'm just not into um, weddings. I just don't like the setting. I just don't like people watching other two people being intimate with each other or well intimate being in love with each other. I think that is kind of creepy, but hey, maybe that's just me. Some people find it really romantic weddings, but I find it really expensive and unneeded, unnecessary. But hey, that is just me. Um, but it can be a beautiful thing if two really, uh, per well, perfect, uh, two really well made for each other characters or people are marrying each other, then I think it is uh, quite nice for them. But I don't, I don't have to see that. And it, like I said, it is kind of expensive so to do it, I guess, if you're rich, but whatever. But yeah, Miss Mojo made a video about it, the top 10 wedding themed music videos. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting anything on there because I, I don't know uh, music videos that are wedding themed, or that is the name, right? Uh, wedding, yeah, wedding themed music videos. So the only video that I can think of that is actually good, I think, is um, November Rain by Guns N' Roses. And maybe that's going to be number one. So. Um, it was a pretty good video and it was really expensive I've, I've heard so we're gonna check it out Yeah, like, like I said, I don't I don't know um, Any music videos marriages because I don't watch a lot of music videos, but I That's just me Some dead mouse in the beginning Devil horns, but I um Pro probably the best music you get out of this video and it isn't even on the list but whatever Let's panic at the disco, fuck sure off Billy Idol? Yeah. Classic Oh the bass lines on that song, it, it, it is really nice The bass is great More Katie shit well, I have to I have to be more creative with that. Um, yeah, actually, in the in the Netherlands, uh, we have a, a, a word called uh, Harry. Harry. That isn't the name. Well, it is. It is really ugly, but <laughs> so I'm I'm so getting off track. Um, and Harry is the um, is the is the English word for noise. So Katie noise. It, it doesn't make sense in English, but in the Netherlands it's pretty funny because it is true. And this is too deep. In short, if it doesn't have well, that was a Dutch, that was a Dutch joke. Only my Dutchies will understand that. On screen. It ain't here. Uh, I didn't know what she just said, but the fuck. I'm not gonna uh, reverse it because I really don't give a fuck. Like he's crying. Lay me down, Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Oh, they are at the funeral. They are at the funeral, right? Knows how to get us right in the feels, and this video is no exception. Instead of beginning with a wedding, the first image is of Sam singing mournfully in front of a closed casket. We're not sure who died, but the video later reveals it to be his husband, who he married in that same church. may not be as grand a production as some of the other videos on this list, but it's just as effective. In fact, as it is shot touching, just though. one sequence, its simplicity is what allows it to tell the couple's story. It is well thought out that he did that at the same church, and maybe it is actually true. Uh, I don't know, but uh, good for Sam Smith. I'm just not a fan of his high-pitched voice and his over-emotional vocals. But the setting is nice, uh, the message is really, really touching, and uh, yeah, it, it is actually quite a, a quite bittersweet music video. So yeah, well, well thought out music video, good. But the song itself, not the biggest fan of. Not the biggest fan of Sam Smith. This is old, I, I Number think. Number nine, I don't believe you. No, this is actually new. Pink. Well, new, eight years old, but... Like 
Is that pink really? She actually doesn't look... Um, I'm, don't be triggered. She doesn't look like a lesbian. I mean, I'm not calling her out or something. I'm not... Yeah, I just call her names. I just call her a lesbian. Uh, but that is just the image that she has. L like, strong power. You know, one music video with the short hair. Um, it just looks like that. It is the image of that. So, uh, yeah. Don't be bothered. She's going nowhere, but whatever. She actually has a girly... Uh, well... Wedding dress, but Instead whatever. Celebrating a union, like a lot of marriage she wears something girly this time. <laughs> this isn't going nowhere, I know, but. Throughout the video, we're showing fuck. memories from the wedding day that are now ruined by her failed relationship. Can we that bad like Taylor Swift? We, which is probably gonna make the news, uh, the list as well. Taylor Swift. Black and white, pink looks gorgeous in the same dress she wore to her 2006 wedding to Carrie Hart. It's heartfelt, emotional, and packs a punch. Number eight, behind these hazel eyes, Kelly Clarkson. Um, actually, is Kelly Clarkson still making music? I, I'm not sure, but... No, I'm not a fan, but... Definitely the best thing that we got out of these talent shows. Talent shows. Most girls dream of a fairy tale wedding, but Kelly flipped that idea on its head with this entry. Kelly thought up the concept of the video. Actually, herself, a memorable she had the artist. Idea to make it like a broken fairy tale. To make her vision come to life, the video shows images of Kelly in her wedding dress when she sees a woman she suspects her ex of cheating with. Oh yeah, I know this one. Yeah, I actually think that she's an alright artist because her pitch voice is actually quite nice in the mixing and it has a bit of a rock vibe to it. I'm not sure if she does that still or, or if she's still making music, but it is quite nice, it is enjoyable. No, it gives the song some balls, which a lot of pop acts miss. No, it, it gives her that punch. But that last image is everything as she walks into the sunset. Yeah. It's alright. The fuck is this? Number seven, just a dream. Very she young. wears a lot of makeup. Underwear. Fucking hell, she looks like a doll. Jesus Christ. I think that makeup is really ugly, but hey, that, that is just me. This one brings tears of real grief. The video it just video looks so fake. Begins with Carrie talking to her fiance who's about to be sent to war. As the video goes on, we get to see her dream of the face. Only to I hate Carrie so much. I think she's horrible. I mean, I can't take this seriously if it is a country song. I, I just can't. It's like you're making a truck romantic, like um, like a guy singing about his truck and he gets really romantic. Like that is a wedding theme music video. I'm just sipping my beer, sitting on the truck, riding my car. You know, it sounds like that, like mainstream generic garbage country, modern uh, country. Carrie fits perfectly in that category as a female artist. No, it doesn't matter what um, what sex you are. It it is just shit, man. The song's lyrics. Country. It's a startling image More. to see her walk down the aisle in her white dress, only to have it transform into her black funeral attire. Oh wow, that this is cheap. Which features her real life husband, Mike Fisher. 
Just that suit going from white to black, that looked really ugly in the animation department. Horrible, horrible, horribly done. The thing, what you should have done is just um, point the camera at something else for five seconds and just change it to you and then you have the black um, wedding dress on or if that is a thing but whatever. Yeah, it, it, it must be, right? You should have done that. I mean, that animation was really crappy. Number six, I write sins, not tragedy. Fuck Panic no. at the disco. Well, imagine as I'm pacing the pews in a church corridor and I can't help but to hear. No, I can't help but to hear in exchanging words. As the band's first music video, the group decided to go big. And really, what's bigger than a circus themed wedding? That face, oh my god. He's a solo egg now, right? I don't care. Lyrically, the song begins with a couple who seem to have some underlying issues. The same concept plays out in the video as the couple fight, which leads to chaos among their families and guests. To carry out the video's theme, the band hired real circus folk from the Lucent Dossier Vaudeville Cirque. The video was a smash success that year and earned director Shane Drake the 2006 VMA Music Video of the Year Award, which in itself is pretty dang swanky. What the fuck did you just uh, say? Swanky. Number five, White Wedding. I mean, I'm giving Miss Mojo a chance here, multiple chances, and they're saying shit like swanky. Are you even trying any? Uh, do you even try in the beginning? Uh, at the beginning, fucking hell. They, they they don't even try. That was cheap. That was really cheap. I said that the bass uh, bass lines were catchy in the song, but you just had a cheap, literally a cheap ass ass shot. That was really fucking cheap. When is it not a nice day for a lightweight? In letter. You know, I'm not complaining, but that is really cheap. Exactly what we get from well, yeah, I, I actually am complaining. That's what makes it so unique. Billy and his bride play that's what by makes it so cheap. Lister, have a gothic ceremony that goes off the rails Ooh, when God. he accidentally cuts her fingers with a ring made of barbed wire. It's a fucking emo wedding. Cut her finger for real. An image which didn't go down all that well with the folks at MTV. The whole thing is pretty surreal, but that's what makes it a classic. Oh my god. Alexander. No. No. More Katy Perry. Her vocals on this song. They sound like a grandma, man. <sighs> like she just walked a 10 kilometers fucking sprint or something. Marathon. Whatever. I mean, who writes this song for a fairy man? We later realize it was all a fantasy on his part, and in the end, the couple who makes these music the videos. So beautiful in the nineties, man. That face lift, man. So ugly. Uh, I mean, her voice is still great, you know, but that that face. She's tormented before the 
wedding, and just as she's about to go through with the nuptials, she's saved by her younger ex-lover, played by Wentworth Miller. We also can't help but wonder if Mariah was throwing a little shade at her ex, Tommy Matola, since she wears her same Vera Wang wedding dress from their 1993 wedding. <laughs> I mean, it is a good song, but that's face. November rain, yeah. I thought it was number one, but still, it is close. Number two, November rain, Guns and Roses. Look into your eyes, I can see another strain. Yeah, beautiful. The longest video on our list, this entry blends real life and fantasy. At the time of the video's release, lead singer Axl Rose was in a relationship with the video's bride. Not Stephanie. for long, though. No, not for the long. The grand church wedding seems picturesque enough, but as the video goes on, viewers realize that Axl is mourning Stephanie's death, since it seems she committed suicide. In addition to the wedding, there are epic aerial shots of Slash's guitar solo and the band's performance at LA's Orpheum Theater. Because of all the Slash is standing on the piano, it's so epic. Five million dollars, making it one Damn. of the most expensive music videos of all time. Yeah, but Axel has a buttload of money, so it doesn't matter. Not as much money as he put into the Chinese democracy, right? Or was it less? That was three million, I believe. Whatever. Three million for a shitty, a shitty, shitty album. Good job, X Rose. Yeah, he really is a product of his time, isn't he? Simple kind of life, by no doubt. So horrible. Fucking hate, no doubt. Sugar by Maroon 5, generic pop garbage. Yeah, still, they still have one good record. Songs, are, songs are by Jane. Uh, they have a new record out now, right? Who cares? Who the fuck cares? Uh, I, <laughs> I do. Cherish you. 98 degrees. <laughs> that just answer. That just answered my question. 98 degrees cares. Her song is literally called I Do. Isn't that ironic? What is gonna be number one though? I mean, if it is... Don't say that this is number one, please. Number one. No. Best thing I never had, Beyonce. But she literally stays in one room for the entire fucking time. She has barely any clothes on. And, I mean, above November Rain, that epic, epic music video that has a budget of 5 million. You see Slash playing at a church, playing his guitar solo. You see the woman literally dying and just rotting in her grave. It is really, really just one of the best music videos of all time. And then you give me this garbage. I mean, come on. I said that Miss Mojo is a saving grace at the number one spot, that, that 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 was the saving grace of their videos, but even number one is fucking shitty. Who would dump Beyonce? Though the concept of the video is hard to believe, fuck you, Miss Mojo, fuck you. In it, Beyonce prepares for her wedding to the man of her dreams. After reminiscing about her ex who dumped her back in high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> they just showed an old video of Beyonce dancing with her boyfriend or ex boyfriend. And uh, he was dancing with Beyonce, but then Beyonce turned around and he was humping another woman. <laughs> fucking hell. Beyonce has the best taste in, man. Fucking hell. Fucking Normies. Wedding, no expense was spared. 
The dress she wore was a Barachi gown that cost a whopping $85,000. Huh. I actually thought they were, they were, they were going to say $85 million or something. Who cares? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, this list, it is horrible. It's probably one of the worst lists I've seen so far. The only saving grace was number two, which is a really strange number. Number one was actually shit. I mean, Beyonce above Guns N' Roses, I mean, no. November Rain is easily the best wedding theme music video, music video of all time and one of the most expensive as well. So, two records in one, not bad for Axl Rose. <laughs> love you, buddy, love you. Uh, but yeah, that was the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what are your favorite wedding themed music videos, whatever. Number one was shit. If, if you want to argue with me, comment me in the comment section down below if you want to. Uh, defense, Queen Bee, whatever, you know, I don't give a fuck, but, uh, but if you want to challenge me, then comment me in the comments down below, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and let me know what you think about this list, and take care.